Hello guys, Dreams Play here and today I'm going to show you how to install Feed the Bees for Mac users. Um, I know Mac users have had some problems lately, I have actually had some problems myself installing the launcher. Um, so I'm just going to show you how to do it very quickly. First of all you want to open Google and you want to go to the top here and you want to go feedthebeast.com and it'll show you how many mods are in there, what it is, and you can go on the forums as well if you want to search stuff. Um, so these are all the, the uh, mods that you can use in it. Um, the most popular ones obviously Forestry, Railcraft, Portal Gun, um, Red Power, EE3 and all that. So all those will be in there already. So you don't have to worry about initialing any of those. So basically you want to come down here to the download client. If you have a server, go ahead and download the server. But for right now I'm just going to do it for the um, single players. So on Windows you would download the exe file, but on Mac you would download the um, actual jar. If you're a Mac user and you actually download the exe file, you get an error saying that, that it is corrupted, but it's not a virus or anything, it's just that it's a Windows file that you're trying to open on a Mac. Um, so that basically that's the um, error that I kept getting, because the jar actually wasn't available when I wanted to download it. So basically you want to download the jar, click it, um, keep if you're on Chrome, it'll download it, and you want to go into your um, download folder. Okay, so it's right there. So you want to do, move this out of the way. Alright, we'll get this. Drag it into, onto your desktop. Then on your desktop, you want to make a new folder called FTB Launcher. Alright, FTB Launcher. Enter. Alright, I need to um, rename this one, sorry. Let me just rename my other one first. Um, I'll put P or something. Alright, so now you read this one FTB Launcher. Enter. Okay, and now you have this one right here. So what you want to do, you want to drag your jar that you just downloaded into that file. Into that folder, I should say. Sorry. <laughs> and you want to double click your folder to open it. And then you have that one file there. Let me just make this bigger for you to see. Alright, now you want to double click this um, jar file. And you want to say, okay, okay open, because it's a safe file, we all know that. And it will download all these files that you need to actually run the actual launcher on your um, Mac. Okay, so now you want to create your profile down here. Uh, create profile. Okay, and then after that you press add. And then um, you press launch, basically. And now if you get a um, little box pop up on your Feed the Boost launcher saying update, you press yes to update it and then open the um, folder again and then open the jar again. Um, it's just refreshing the jar so you get the updated version. So now as it would in um, the actual Minecraft, it's actually downloading all the jars that you'll need, all the inputs and everything that you'll need. Um, so this is specific, um, specific sorry, for Mac users. It won't take a while to do this. Obviously I will delete this afterwards because I don't really want to, um, to feed the beast that I'm not just taking up my memory. So just give it a couple of minutes or seconds. And over here you actually find your console. Um, it's very wise to keep this open because that will show you how if your um, Feed the Beast Launcher crashes for any reason you can paste this into um, pastebin.com and show the Feed the Beast um, admins what's going on and they will show you how to fix it or anyone else can help you to fix that. And um, in my next tutorial I'm actually going to show you how to install Optifine in this um, launcher and I'll actually show you how to get the um, Feed the Beast logo onto your um, folder if you want to. Alright so now it's done. Now it's actually going to open Minecraft for us. I see it's running all of the information in the console. Now it's downloading the jar for you. Okay, so once you've actually downloaded all the jars and you've actually launched your launcher, now open Minecraft and the console will be working. <coughs> to make sure everything's okay, um, you should get the Mojang logo. And it should open Minecraft. Okay, so once the console and the jars open, um, you actually find Minecraft right here. So then you can open your world right here and you can open create a new world. So I'll just call it YouTube for now. Um, okay, now it's loaded up. And you can just walk around, see what you want. And you see there's Razor Map. Um, <coughs> sorry, in the um, right hand corner right there. Open that up. And you can see all the different um, biomes everywhere. Um, so that's how you know you've installed it successfully. Um, as I said in my next tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to install Optifine for a Feed the Beast. So I'll see you then.
Peace out.